what is up everyone welcome back to part three of my newest main menu series on roblox um, before we get into the actual video and what we're going to be doing i just wanted to um, make this sort of an announcement um if you guys do have any issues with like any of your codes please join the discord i can't stress this enough please join the discord i will be in the description i'll have it in pinned comment for you guys to join um and uh just there's a role channel you guys click the developer icon and you get rolled and i can help you in the development help channel um it's just for it works better for me because i can help you guys one on one with your issues you guys can also add me on snapchat and help uh, i can help you on there i've helped a few people on snapchat but uh yeah all those will be linked in the description if you guys need any help just ask me i will help you um yeah just want to get that out of the way thank you um now then, let's get into actually what we're going to be doing. So I had a few suggestions from the last video, and we're going to be doing those. So a couple of your suggestions was having a game intro instead of it just going straight to the camera with the play button and about button. There's like a fading in sort of intro type deal, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's very simple. Um, yeah, we'll get into that here in a second. We're also going to be doing uh, a team change. Um, section on the on your menu so you guys can be able to change teams I know a lot of people suggest or uh, yeah commented this and wanted this so I'll do that as well and we're also going to be showing you how to do image buttons and when we get to part four I would like to see all of you guys' suggestions for part four like anything I will take any suggestions for menu um, any of your big games I can show you how to do most of that if you guys have any suggestions leave them below let's start off with the image button so we left off with the play and about button and button sounds it looks like so we're gonna just pick up where we left off so a lot of you asked how to do image buttons and they work the exact same way um we're just gonna use like test image we have here in my group give it a three border size pixel outline lime green set it to zero now we're gonna go in this uh, play button or uh, image button, image play button, just for testing purposes. <laughs> Copy your play button script, put it in image play button. You guys will see it works the exact same. Here we go. It's like that. Frames pop up, or the borders pop up. Click it, and there you go. Uh, that was just for testing purposes. I know a lot of you ask, but uh, I feel like a lot of people get confused on that. Image bu image buttons are no different than text buttons, except the fact that they don't have text. Um, they're used pretty commonly in you know, certain menus, but uh, yeah, that's how to do it. They work the exact same. Uh, yeah. Now let's go ahead and move on to the team change. This is something I have actually done a tutorial on, but I wanted to include it in the menu in the menu because a lot of you actually wanted that so let's get into it so let's first things first we're going to add a team for testing purposes we're going to call it test team like that and we're going to give it i don't know black, bright blue color why not and let's get into it so the first thing is first we're going to add a new button it's going to duplicate our play button here oh there we go And we're going to call it team, or team button, whatever. And instead of play, we're going to call it teams. And in our script, we're just going to go ahead and get rid of this. These three lines of code here, you can just get rid of those. Get rid of that camera too, we're not going to need that. And let's get into it. So... What we need to do first is add our frame, which where you're going to be you know, changing your team. What I actually think we can do here is just duplicate our test frame. We're going to call it team frame. There we go. And make it visible. And inside this team frame, we're going to go ahead and add a button. This will be our blue team. We're just going to call it blue button name and we'll call it blue team like that and we're gonna make another one called red team 
testing purposes. You know, I want to show you how to do multiple teams. Call it red, boom. Now that we got both those situated, you're now going to go ahead and make that frame on visible now. Okay, now then, so let's code our team button. So we're going here, and first things first, we're going to do scripts.parent. Uh, visible equals false. Script dot parent dot parent dot team frame dot visible equals true. Script dot parent dot parent dot about button dot visible equals false, and we got one more script dot parent dot parent dot play button dot visible equals false. Here we go. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and test that out. That should just, uh, we should be able to click our button. And it brings up the frame and deletes all the other buttons we don't need. So now let's go ahead and code the back button real quick. Hop in here. And we just need to add one more line of code. Our back button. We're going to do scripts dot parent dot parent dot parent dot team button dot visible equals true. And if you guys you guys should already have the script, but if you don't, you can pause the video here and copy all this. This is a back button for the team frame. All right, now we're going to go and close that up. And test be working correctly. Teams back, teams back, teams back, teams back. Boom, works great. Now we're gonna get into uh, the actual, you know, coding the team, team changer buttons. So we're gonna go down to teams first, and we're just gonna name this one blue, and duplicate it. Call this one red, and give it the bright red color. There we go. <clears throat> now we're going to add a local script into our blue team button here. And let's get coding. So, we're going to first thing we're going to do is create a, create a function. Call it function click mouse. We're going to do script.parent. Parent, parent, uh, enabled equals true. Or equals false, my bad. Wait a second, we won't need that. Hold up. Okay, my bad. Scripts dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot team color equals brick color dot new bright blue. Oh shit, gotta put that in quotations. Quotations bright blue. At our ending parentheses there, and we're gonna go down one more and put an end. And we're gonna go over here, do script dot parent dot mouse <laughs> button one down. <laughs> Ooh, man, I'm having an allergy attack. Connect function and close the brackets. There we go, just like that. Oh my bad, not function. Click, boom, there we go, my bad. And this is an optional line of code, but uh, if you're looking for them to like spawn somewhere else after they've uh, changed teams, you will do this. Script.parent, dot parent, dot parent, dot parent, parent, dot character, dot humanoid, dot health equals zero. And that will basically like it. It'll kill the it'll kill the player's character, and so that they respawn in the correct spawn. But like I said, that's optional, totally optional. And, uh, let's go ahead and test that. So we're just gonna turn off auto assignable on blue, so we get auto team to red, and we'll see what happens. Test it. Team blue team kills you, changes you to the blue team, which is exactly what we want. We All right, now we're just gonna take that script we did for blue. 
copy it, paste it into the red, and instead of bright blue, we're just going to cut bright red. Boom. Close that up. Play. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. We can go back from whichever we want. I could kill this again. Play. Uh, oh, one thing we do need to add real quick. I forgot to mention this. Go to your play button, and inside of here, we need to do script dot parent dot parent dot team button dot visible equals false. So that that way it gets rid of the team button when we click play as well. Do that here. Play gets rid of all of them. All right, that is team buttons complete. Now we're going to move on to the actual game intro, which will bring you to your menu. This is something highly requested, and I see a lot of people requesting it, so I just thought I'd figure, you know, why not include it in this part instead of a whole other, you know, series, but uh, I feel like this is going to be good. So uh, let's get into it. So in a game intro, I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but kind of like, uh, I don't know, maybe if you've played Mad City, they have the Swifty Studios thing with the animation text. I'm going to be doing something similar to that. Of course, not animated text. That could be in another part, but um, I'm going to be doing something similar to that where it has like the intro and all that. So, yeah, let's get into it. The first thing you guys want to do is you guys want to add a frame. We're just going to call this background, okay? And you guys can make whatever color you want. I really, It really doesn't matter what color you make it. Make sure that it extends across the full screen. You will be good. There we go. Can't see anything? You don't want to see anything. So inside of this frame, this is where you're going to add your logo, you know, for your group or game or whatever you want. Like I said, I'm just going to be using a game logo here. That logo. Put a zero border size pixel. We, want it. we don't want any border size pixel on this. And actually, you know what? Let me move that up a bit. Hold up, move that up. We're gonna add some text in here too, make it look cool and stuff, you know. Jazz it up a bit. Text scale. Sci-fi font. Oh, Sci-fi font's my favorite. Okay. Now we're just gonna call it the Galactic Conquest because that's the name of my game. You guys would name it whatever you want. Boom. A nice white text. Looks clean to me, looks great. And you know what? For the heck of it, we'll give it like a little loading at the bottom or something. Make it look even cooler. Yeah, you guys get it. It's an intro. Put whatever you want on it. I can show you how to do different animations in another part, but uh this is just, you know, your basics. Now that you have the background ready. People wanted to know how to do fading, and so this is actually probably one of the most simple things I've ever. We're just going to go into our main script here, and gonna, make a new section here. We're going to call it intro. And within here, we are going to go ahead and do... Actually, can we make a local first? Or, I don't know. Script dot parent dot background dot trans or dot background transparency equals. Now, fading effect is one of the most simplest things you'll ever see. So we're gonna go to background transparency here, and I'm gonna show you what it is. So this is 0 0.9 right now. It's kind of like a little bit faded. One thing you want to do is close all this right here. Just make sure this is not visible. Make sure your logo and whatever you put is not visible. Just the background. And this is 0 0.5, 0 0.2. You guys can see all those. But we're just going to keep it at uh, 1 for now. So we're going to go back into our main. And we're going to set the background transparency to 0 0.9. Yeah, that, that works. Okay. So we are wanting it to fade in. So... We're going to add a little weight here. We're going to add like a maybe a 0 0.1 weight. This is how I like to do it. It's 
Looks pretty clean to me. Now we're just going to duplicate that, and we're going to keep going down the list. 0 0.8. Duplicate this a couple times. Make sure you put weights in the middle. Just like that. And you guys get the gist. 0 0.7, 6, 5, 4, and you know, it keeps going on down the line. We're just going to go all the way to. And finally, 1. There we are. Now then, let's go ahead and test that out. Okay, so works great, but I think we've got it backwards. 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9. There we go. My bad. And then we'll add one more at the bottom here, which will be 1. And let's test that out. There we go. Sorry about the confusion. Okay, that works great. Now all we need to do is add a little weight of our own so they get to actually see the intro, you know. So right at the beginning here, we're just going to add a quick weight of, I don't know, however long you want this intro to span will be the time set here. So we're just going to say 10 seconds for testing purposes. Click play, and you guys will get to see that here. That's great. Hold on. That should have worked. Is there anything in the output? Hold on. No. Well. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, wait a second. Make sure the background is set to zero. Retarded. Now, let's, now then. So it's going to wait 10 seconds. I don't know, 10 seconds, just wait, boom, there you go, and then it brings you to your menu. Now, what, so you guys don't want to be able to see this every time you do this, and by the way, you can make these visible now. So you guys are just going to set this to, uh, set this whole frame to not visible. So what, what you want to do here is you guys want to go ahead and put this little line of code here, you're going to do script.parent. Dot background dot visible equals true and so that way you don't have to have that on your screen the full time so when they do click play when they join the game it will just come up on its own boom go back to the galactic conquest loading you can wait for it to load it fades out and we actually do need to fade out the rest of the text and I will show you how to do that now so like I said, very simple. We're just going to be adding a couple lines of code. So we're going to do script dot parent dot background dot logo dot background transparency. Yeah, that's it. Where's the transparency? Background transparency. Let me, let me confirm that. That's what I thought. Hold on, is there image transparent? It's image transparency. I'm retarded, dude. Okay. Okay, not background transparency. Image transparency equals zero point one. And we're gonna add one more line. Or actually, two more. Uh, script dot parent, and we're gonna need to you know, label these. We'll just name these text one, text. Two, because these are we're gonna fade those two text things I added in. Script dot parent dot background dot text one dot text parent c equals zero point one and the final one script dot parent dot background dot text two dot text Transparency equals 0 0.1. And we're just going to copy these three lines of code and do the same thing we did for the 
background transparency, set them to the correct numbers. Boom. Okay. Four. Five. Six. Almost done. It's going to be gr awesome when you guys get to see this in action. Eight. Oop, there we go. Nine. And finally, one. Which should be a lot more simple to add. One. Boom. And you're done. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. You guys got to see this work. I have a few more things to do. Boom, loading. It's going to fade out. About like five seconds, I guess. I don't know. Boom. Fades out. And, oh yeah, one thing. Make sure your logo background transparency is set to one. So we don't see that white square. No. Alright, now we got a few thing, more things to do. So, first things first. We got to go back to our main script here. And at the very bottom here, we're going to have to add... And a couple more lines of code. So we're gonna do script dot parent. Here, one second. Set the set all of these buttons to non visible. Boom. Okay, script dot parent dot about button dot visible okay. equals true. Script dot parent dot play button. Dot visible equals true and finally script dot parent dot team button dot visible equals true and that basically allows like uh them not to click the buttons while in the intro so like they would normally be able to click it behind it. But see now that I made them invisible while the intro's playing, they can't click it. So they gotta wait for the intro to play. Boom, fades out, brings us to our menu perfectly. And like I said, if you guys want to see more like an, of an advanced intro, like uh, moving text or, uh, you know, I don't know, a rotating image, anything an intro would have, animated text, any of that, um, just let me know in the comments. But uh, that was been part three. Leave me suggestions for the menu series in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next part. Make sure to like, subscribe, peace out.